Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1538. Hey, in this video, we got to talk about summing the last digit of each cell, either using the sum function or sum product. Now, Science Politic asked this question. Do you have a video on how to sum the last digit of each cell in a range? Now, I don't know what kind of data he has, but we're going to assume it could have various types of data. And we just want 0, 2, 8, 9, 3, and 3. Well, there's the left and the right. So how we can get it the rightmost digit is with the right function, equals right. Now, normally, the right function in the text argument expects a single cell. So if I put B6, comma, 1, close parentheses, when I hit Enter, it will deliver 0. But that's not what I want. I want all of the right digits. So back here, F2, instead of putting a single item into the text argument, we'll put a range of items. This is called a function argument array operation, which will instruct the right function to extract the right single digit for every single cell in this range. Now, if I hit Enter, of course, in Office 365 Insider Edition, I get a spill error. In earlier versions, you'd get a value error. And the problem is, this is delivering multiple items. So with the cell in edit mode, I'm going to hit the evaluation key, F9. I can see that I get the right digit of all of these items. Now notice they're in double quotes, double quotes, which of course means that the formula thinks that these are text items. Control Z. Now to convert a text number back to a number, we can do any math operation on the array of answers. I'm going to choose to add 0, because I need to do a math operation that doesn't change the value. So plus 0. Now if I hit the F9 key, there they are, all the digits as numbers. Control-Z. Now, if you are in a version of Excel other than Office 365 Insider Edition, then we can simply put the result, which is a bunch of numbers, into the sum product function. Now, I would like to put it into the sum function, but then it would require a special keystroke because when we do a function argument array operation and the right function spits out multiple items, then we have an array formula. So in earlier versions, we could use the sum, but then we'd have to use a special keystroke. Instead, we use sum product. Anytime we have an array operation in that argument array 1, and our goal is to add, rather than using sum and control shift enter, we can just put it in sum product, because sum product is programmed to deal with arrays. Now, normally, sum product has multiple arrays that it first multiplies and then adds. But anytime you have a single array operation and the result is to be added, we can simply use sum product. Now when I hit the Tab key, I get exactly the correct answer, 25. Now watch this. I'm going to highlight the inside, click on Array, Control-C, Escape. If you have Office 365 Insider Edition or this is February of 2019. Microsoft said all of Office 365 will have the new dynamic arrays and the new internal Excel calculation engine in the early part of 2019. So if you have the correct Office 365 version, we don't have to use some product anymore. We just put it inside of the sum function. And the new calculation engine, when I hit Enter, knows to calculate 25. Now, one other cool thing about the right function and the left function, since we really only want the last one digit, we don't even have to put that in. Both for left and right, the default for num characters is 1. So when I hit Enter, that will work, both for the sum product and the sum version. All right, thanks to Science Politic for that cool question. And if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.